I can call all kinds of names. They Irish, they eat something. Yeah, I still gotta get it. Oh. So we, we kind of knew it was coming. And then they came the week before that, the, the Wednesday before that, they were there, they came and they said, hey, just so you guys know, starting next week, we're doing the uh, comprehensive, starting to back up. And we were kind of like, well, wait a minute, hold on. Didn't you tell us that, that uh, we were supposed to not have to worry about this type of cleanup until after COVID was over? Yeah, that's what they did say to us. Well, then why are we having to why are you starting? I said, we're still in COVID. We're still in the coronavirus. Why are you guys starting up already? And they're like, we just give us no reason. We're just doing it. The city wants to do it. It helps them because they have a right to exist outside. And uh, the comprehensive sweeps threaten their right to exist outdoors. Uh, essentially, it's been used as a tool to just bully folks into moving their belongings. Uh, and essentially, it's given the city the right to come in and destroy certain uh, tents and property. Exorbitant amounts of money are being spent on them. And each sweep costs about $45,000. Uh, at the height of the pandemic, 15,000 rooms were promised to our unhoused brothers and sisters by the city. And only 4,000 of those rooms have been distributed. So why are we investing in comprehensive cleanup? Boom. We're going to take this, 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 and we're going to leave you this. This week we're going to come take this and this, and we're going to leave you this. So I've learned the thing to do is get the fuck up before they come, packed up, ready to go, and boom, there you see it. Where am I? Lying down the wall. But the way they do it is, I think, is a little, um, a little too aggressive. The way it's done, bring a fucking bulldozer in on a bunch of homeless people. Come on, really? Well, they don't. Have, they don't have everyone leave the area. So if they were doing a full comprehensive cleaning, all these tents would have to move the area. Whoever's left behind, they would either take and store for 90 days or they would discard if it's uh, a biohazard or something of that nature. Spot cleaning is, they'll go ask them, hey, do you have anything, any garbage you want to throw away? They'll, they'll take whatever they want to toss, and that's it. Or like a needle or something like that. off with the police department we had about uh, three squad cars come in uh, and just had to go into intense negotiations can't kind of came to a standoff with the lead uh, environmental officer from sanitation I feel like that was the main obstacle but I mean getting folks up at 6 a.m. is not an easy feat but this is a really important uh, action to attend and we actually did really make a difference in the first you know hour of the action so we are going to move to a spot cleaning which is just a trash cleanup and um, essentially just sweeping around the tents. No one's going to have to move. Um, we don't feel like that's a human rights violation, so we've agreed to that. We can solve homelessness in LA with 20% of your budget. 20% of your budget. Let that also sink in. The majority of our public funds go towards violence. Uh, sanitation officers violate the negotiation that, uh, in the deal that we struck. They were trying to convince unhoused residents to move their belongings to the outside of the cleaning zone. That's specifically against the spot cleaning and that is going into a comprehensive cleaning. They were intimidating of the unhoused folks with about like eight to ten uh, sanitation workers, not letting us go through and advocate for our clients. The gentleman right here said that he wanted to stay there. We had one sanitation worker try to go and start going through his tent. So we broke the line. They broke the deal. We're not going to hold up our end of the bargain if they don't. They're cool with us. We're cool with them. 
you know, give and take. We give a little, they take a little. They, we, you know, they give us a little, we take a little from them. You know, I mean, it's just a give and take relationship. But we're we're honest, we're open and honest about things with each other. We we aren't trying to fight and discourage and bump heads, bump heads with each other. You know, so. No one deserves to be subjected to that kind of behavior. You know, if you think about somebody coming into your apartment every week and telling you to move all of your things out because they need to clean, like that just seems absurd. Uh, and with $45,000 per day being spent on those sweeps, that money could be invested so much better in getting folks into their own places, better for their mental health, better for the community. If you really want to clean up the streets and help people, you know, really have a shot at life, getting folks into motel rooms is just a better answer. This is technically pushing the safe zone. This is pushing the safe zone. They haven't said anything to us yet. So far, every sweep, they've had no problem with us bringing all our stuff around here. And then when it's done and it's dry and it's organized and, you know, and everything else, and they're gone and, and the hustle and bustle's all gone, we just move back in, set back up. <laughs> belongings who want them and they're here to take them. There's a skirmish over their line that they put up to establish a zone through which they don't let anybody pass who's here to help. So we tear down the line because it's bullshit because we're here to help the people who want to have their stuff and whose rights are being violated by the LA City Council and by the LAPD. They say they're not doing sweeps but this is a sweep. Every one of these tents you see and get thrown away is someone's life. <laughs>